Yeah, another year skill that will give myself that I was not a good orator. I kind of stutter when I'm talking, like I speak very fast and it makes me, I kind of repeat words, like I'll be muttering words. Yeah, so that is excuse to me, but guys, I'm doing this now, like I'm getting, I feel like I'm getting better. I know that I reason some people, they feel like they, they, they don't, they, they don't, they, they, <laughs> they, they're not that good in English language, they don't speak fluently, like they're not speaking like funny. Guys, is English language your, your first, your mother tongue? Excuse me, is it your first language? Speak the one you can speak, Jerry. Ooh, I saw people are hearing what you're saying. If it's that difficult, put subtitles so people can read, understand what you're saying. I feel like this can be an excuse for some people that they can, they don't speak that funny. Just be real, speak the way you want, you know how to speak. English is not your first language, right? Have a sense, speak what you want to speak. Just make sure you're communicating to people. Yeah, it should not deter you from starting a YouTube channel. I'm talking to you that is saying that you cannot speak words. Well. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's the first time I've seen my face. My name is Ijoma and I want to chit chat with you guys. I had lots of reasons why I procrastinated my YouTube channel. I decided to share because there are some people that would probably want to start their YouTube channel would be thinking a lot in their head, like having some of these excuses I had there. Yeah, so I'm talking to you guys, I'll be doing my makeup. So guys, that is, I will not be putting, giving you like 100% eye contact because of my makeup. I found out over the years that I really enjoy watching YouTube videos. And while I watch other people, I always had in mind that I want to have my own YouTube channel. But I, I had a lot of excuses that was preventing me. And another thing that I want to point out is that the thing that made me to now finally start is that I told myself, YouTube is a social media platform. Just like Facebook and Instagram, Twitter, whatever. So that's in please. I'm not a makeup artist. I'm just getting ready. So don't try to pick any makeup things for me. Yeah, I I say let me point that. So let me say what I'm saying. Some of the excuses here. Number one, I was like, I don't have good phone. Funny enough, after all those excuses, you still have the same phone I still use to start my YouTube channel. I was waiting for when I would get a bigger phone. I kept waiting and I found out that. I'm not getting a phone anytime soon, so I just have to start with the one I have. Yeah, I know that the quality of my content now may not be like the way I would have loved it to be, but at least I'm starting. There is something I will look back almost to come and be like, I'm proud of myself. I see my good and improved. But I'm telling to people that your excuse that I don't have a good phone. But if I, well, you have an Android phone that has a decent camera, right there, you can start. So, another reason why I was focusing on my own YouTube channel was that I'm very busy. I don't have time. I don't have time to shoot content, all those things. Because seriously, guys, YouTube is, is not easy. It's easy. You don't be discouraged. But hmm, creating a content, like trying to come up with content and stuff, is not easy. But I have to tell myself that hmm, if I give an excuse, I just have to start. That, that it was done on me. I said today, I started my YouTube channel because I've, I've been thinking about it. I've done a lot of research and everything. So I have to, that day, I receive something clicked on my brain i you have to start your youtube channel it's okay enough is enough this overthinking is enough i just wish this that would happen to me that they happened earlier so another excuse that people give why they don't start their youtube channel like me that's one of the excuses i give because i'm talking for, i speak for myself i feel like this may be going on in other people's head though not may not be really me other excuses that the environment is not aesthetically pleasing my house in a way kind of so if you're going to be making a sit-down video, like maybe you're a professional teaching people on a particular thing, maybe you're not be bothered about your house being aesthetically pleasing. There's a way you do that. You can create a, a particular spot. You can be sitting down to do your video. But because of the kind of content that, guys, I'm confident I don't know what next to do. I'm talking. I'm not, I still have this. I'm not sure. I was like, my house is not aesthetically, it's not aesthetically, oh God, it's not aesthetically pleasing. Like, this, most of the YouTubers I watch on YouTube, the houses are very fine, like your paint are white, all those things. We are shooting on white paint, is more bright. This is one of the lies I was telling myself. But there are some people that can, can relate to you with your own house. Everybody in the world is not living in a aesthetically pleasing house, especially at least for some time. Maybe in future you may get to live in that, or but for now, my reality. But my house is, is not that, it's a decent house. I, I said to myself, but I just have to start. Yeah. Because if you keep giving excuses, then you know, you know you don't really want to do YouTube. But if you want to do it, I have a problem that people are thinking, what will, what will people say? What will people think? What will my friends say? And it also comes under your house being aesthetically pleasing. Because even though YouTube is a social media platform, you get to show like 
it depends on the area you want to go to. I mean, I know that the area we need, not really a niche, I don't, I don't have a niche. The content I want to create that is going to show, so, but because of the kind of content I want to create, I felt that um, the people will be seeing your house and your environment and everything. So it was kind of discouraging me, but hmm, I have to tell myself, nobody really cares. Uh -huh. What will not happen? Uh -huh. People see, uh, and then what happened? Will they beat you? Uh -huh. Will they beat you? Will anything happen to you? Will they put money in your account? No! I mean, these things do not determine anything. What matters when you are giving value to, we have given valuable content, people will relate with you. But for you to even be authentic and, you know, be yourself and do whatever you want to do. I was really budging myself. See, this is something that I struggle with. I know I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking about it now because I have managed to bring myself, snap out of my head and start now. And now I'm talking like this, done, but guys, I really struggle with this. I get text with another reason. Another reason because I was giving that people will not like me and I'm boring and all this stuff. I'm not that friendly. Yeah, I'm socially awkward. Yeah, I will not deny. I'm not that fun, but I'm fun though with my family and, you know, people that I'm close to. But I feel like when it comes to social media, being public, it may not really be my team. It may not really flow naturally to me. Listen, I'm doing that. I was doing really flow naturally to me coming down to sit down and be doing them shooting video or doing whatever i feel like does it really flow naturally to anybody maybe but it's not something i felt like i'm going way out of my comfort zone when i was doing that so if, if it's your excuse my sister my brother you need to start a youtube channel and go outside your comfort zone do what you want to do Hmm? Nobody is going to slap you. Nobody is going to do anything to you. Everything they will say is, hmm, "What is wrong with this woman? What is what is she doing again?" After that, mm -hmm. that's the that's the highest thing that they will say. And funny enough, they will never say it on your face. They will say it on your, in their own house. They will say it. They will not come and say it. Even if they say it on your face, mm -hmm. uh -huh. does it change any? Does it add any money to your account or does it remove any 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 hair from your hair? No. I wish I realized this thing earlier enough. Like, oh my god. This is uh, just in my head overthinking. What will people say? People will say, people should say now. Nah. After saying then what? Please, sis, bro, go and start a YouTube channel. Let me tell you something. Everybody will never like you. Even if you want, be the most bubbling person, be the most smiling, whatever person, uh, great, oh, unique, special person. Everybody will never like you. Once you realize this thing in this life, eh, you just stop watching yourself. Just start. That thing that stopped me, I was thinking, which niche? I felt like, that thing was holding me then. What, what am I good at? I don't even, there's nothing I know I was good at. So it was like other people, some people are good at make calls, some people are good at whatever. But me, what am I good at? What, what will not be my niche now in this YouTube I'm planning to start? So it was another thing that was, I was thinking of that actually delayed me from starting my YouTube channel, guys. So it just starts, when you start, as, as time goes on, you now know what you now put, give your efforts more time to, kind of, I hope I'm saying the right thing. Like, I'm not talking about niche. As you keep creating content, mm, I believe that you now find the one that maybe you are more comfortable with to create. If that makes sense. Yeah, the one that, that you can easily do without going out of your... You know, you need to go out of your comfort zone without it being too taxing for you. Start. When you start, you want to know where you want to niche down to. Yeah, if I bite my tongue. <laughs> So guys, that's the thing. Another reason that was stopping me from starting my YouTube channel, guys, was will I be able to be consistent? Then when I started, it was like I was under pressure. I wanted to be at least post one video every week. But even that one video was a struggle for me then. Even now I'm talking stuff, it's still a struggle for me because recently I've been busy with other things. Stop thinking about will be consistent. Start first. Then you now know how to walk around being consistent without you know burning out without putting yourself under unnecessary pressure so guys like i was like i said before i'm not i'm not used to this doing makeup and talking at the same time so i have to just finish up my makeup and then so i'll continue and talk to you guys sorry like i think i've said this before but i want to point out something if you have a smartphone if you have a smartphone that has a good camera at least a decent space like you know what i used to do i used to make video i delete i don't have space if you want to make another one i delete that one to make another one i have to delete all my pictures and uninstall a lot of apps because i, I know i needed to start my youtube channel if i keep giving an excuse of not having phone then i will not start my youtube channel and that's i even used to 
pair my phone with hobby phone sometimes i use a hobby phone so not having a phone is not a good enough reason especially if you have a smartphone that has a decent camera another reason that people give themselves why they want to start that youtube channel is that that shy like me i'm, I'm not even up to nothing god is getting better like it's awkward talking to yourself in the camera but guys nobody is there you're the only one in the room talking to yourself so it should be it should be better so if you are waiting for when you will be bold 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 like all right to start <laughs> I'm so, I feel like you learn on this job when you keep doing it, you keep getting better, you keep correcting yourself. That's more my content. I know I'm not really proud of it, but I just have to put it out there because if I look at the effort and the data and the energy, guys, I, I know fit. I just have to post it. Nobody is going to flog, nobody is going to tell me, Madam, why did you put that content? Like, I feel like I'll look back at it and I'll be grateful for my growth. Yeah, but I, I'm not saying that we should not go and put content that is not even manageable at all. That people will not, like, at least you still care about your audience. People you want to make video, shoot contents for right. But you get where I'm coming from. Don't be a perfectionist. Just for you when everything is so perfect, when everything is so wonderful, when your environment is aesthetically pleasing, when, when you are so you are an orator when you have all the gadgets you have camera the latest camera you have the latest lightning you have the latest latest whatever latest wireless mic and that is the people who don't start each other they'll be like if i fail what if i don't get monetized what if what people will laugh at me guy um sister brother if they laugh at you then did you remove any hair from your hair <sighs> people will always talk like start See, failure is not bad. Failure is always is only bad when failure now stops you from doing from moving further in life. Even if you fail, mm -hmm, you move, you stand up and okay, I've tried YouTube, it's not for me. Now I realize let me now kukuma kukuma rest that you've never said that thought to know whether you will blow. You know, people are waiting for you to, to see your wonderful content to for you to you know share whatever you want to share and they will learn from you. You get so I feel like you should just start. You people will love you. You don't even know what you have inside of you until you start. Most of all these big YouTubers that we see, they say they're somewhere. If you listen to someone, they will tell you that when they are even starting, they are doubting themselves. They don't even know they will get to where they are today. Do you get? What if they did not start? So another thing is I don't wait for when you now get that wonderful idea that you care. People will just keep creating those normal ideas that they are seeing. At least to it helps you to to brush up on the scale of editing and shooting and stuff, and you're preparing for that time that you now blow. Do you get at least people will relate with you? They will see that you'll be like, We know when, when this person started, we know when she was still struggling, you know, we know when, we know, we know, we know when her video was so poor, the lighting was so bad, her uh, uh, volume was uh, sound was not wonderful, but you have still seen the growth. Do you get and that's nobody is that special, that unique, that wonderful. All these people that you see that I've made, they're not that wonderful. It's just different between us and them is the decision they made, their choices, you know. Their choices. I'm not like a motivational speaker, but yeah, I want to motivate someone. The choices and decisions they've made, their actions, they took action. They were not giving excuses because there will always be excuses. If you want it, there's always excuses. Ah, a lot of excuses, but sister, brother, if you don't start, nobody is going to come and beat you. Nobody is going to do anything, but you are doing yourself. Whether you start now, you feel like you'll be, you'll be happy that you did not start in the future. You should be regretting, hey, if I have started a YouTube channel, how will you know that you, you will succeed if you don't start? Whether you even start now and you, you are, get tired and you say, I'll be like, I'm not doing it again, that you don't even start at all. So guys, this 2023, start a YouTube channel, take it as a sign. If someone like me that is very shy, that was only overthinking things that don't even have any, I don't have any gadgets, I don't have any, in fact, literally nothing to start. Started. How about if you're doubting me, go and watch my first video. The sound was really bad. Our any desire, everybody used to get monetized. We hit this 1k subscribers this year. One of hit this year, guys. Please, please, please subscribe to my channel if you have not, if you haven't, just hit that subscription button and please give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. What do you think? Do you think that these reasons? That are genuine enough reasons for people not to start a YouTube channel or to even do anything that is not in any excuse that is genuine enough for people not to go ahead and do what they want to do in life and take actions and make decisions for their life. Do you think, guys? I don't want the video to be too long. See you in my next one. Bye.